Sky. April hits the max, and Saber Rider hits the jackpot on a daring obstacle course. But when the wagon train is ambushed by tough rustlers, only the star sheriffs can blaze the trail to victory. Don't miss this amazing adventure of Saber Rider and the Star Sheriffs. Out on the new frontier, the settlers are hardy, self-reliant people. But they depend on the supplies sent from their home planets. And that is why we've developed automated supply convoys without human crews. But those convoys are the prime target of the lightning raids of the Outriders. They jump from their dimension... into ours. And their attacks were as wild as a prairie stampede. Outrider air squads, mount them and ride! Yes, fill the sky with your Wrangler wrath. Now, let's try it one more time with feeling. You got it. Vapor cannons. I'm going out there. Take over the Maverick flight dynamics. Right. Coat, back me up in the Bronco Buster. I'll need maximum stallion power. Right. April, I'll need you, too. All right. Steve, Alpha, Stallion, Power, on. Steady, boy. Now! dimensions once again.
Saber Rider will be back after these messages. Yes, and we have the rest of the day free. I think we should go into town and have some fun. Didn't we chase those outriders away? I hope it's not another attack. Insert EBU. EBU inserted. Unscrambling message. EBU message. Come to Cavalry Command headquarters at once. Big time, boys. We're being paged by General Whitehawk himself. Oh, I've never met Whitehawk. But I'm sure he'll be impressed. Where are these headquarters? At a very secret location. Absolute top security. Let's power up. Saber Rider, shall I bring her on in? Yes, April. Remember, this is our secret headquarters for the entire galaxy. <laughs> Steady. This canyon is very narrow. There it is. Cavalry Command. And those are the top commanders. They need our identification. Present EBUs. so good to see you again. You are looking very well, and your work on Project Ramrod has been outstanding. Thanks, General. You had faith in my project when no one else did. That faith was well earned, April. Saber Rider. You've grown into a fine commander. I remember you when you were a green cadet here. Now you're a legend. Tell me about your team. This is Fireball, sir, the youngest star sheriff. He has great courage, but he's a bit hot-headed, what we used to call gung-ho. But he'll learn discipline in time. He wants to be a cavalry commander himself someday. So I give him every opportunity to take leadership. And this is Colt. He's quite incorrigible. I wish I knew what that meant so I could take offense. Howdy, anyway. Colt's kind of a maverick, sir, but he's the sharpest sharpshooter on the new frontier. And when the chips are down, you can always count on him. I'm sure you can, April. 
As you know, we have other star sheriffs patrolling other galaxies. Some of them were also recruited on the job, though most were trained here at the Academy. See for yourself. These are some star sheriffs in the Monitu galaxy. They uncovered an Outrider depot and captured some experimental weapons. Incidentally, as one star sheriff team to another, they asked me to send their greetings. The weapons they captured are here at the base. I'd like to analyze those weapons. I was hoping you would, especially this mysterious device. But first, there are some people I want you to meet. These are our finest young cadets. We train them as star sheriffs have been trained for centuries in the frontier spirit. They must be exemplary in every way. While you are here, I'd like you to conduct some special lessons. Teach them what it's really like out on the new frontier. Each of you has incredible special skills. Will you share them with these cadets? Of course. It will be our pleasure, General Whitehawk. When do we start? Self-defense is extremely important for all Star Sheriffs, male and female. It doesn't matter how big you are, because you can use your opponent's weight to your advantage. Someone try to grab me, and I'll show you. Go ahead, Bob. Uh, no. I'll hurt him. I'm much too strong. Don't worry, I'm shock resistant. Are you afraid? What? I didn't mean to wound your ego. I only asked if you were afraid. You're not scared. Go ahead and grab her. All right, I I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to. Whoa! Whoa! <clears throat> there. Go ahead. Try it again. <laughs> Like I said, size doesn't matter once you know the technique, hmm? Some of you are already experts in self-defense. Which one of you is the best? Mm -hmm. All right. What's your name? Jesse. Jesse Blue. Okay, Jesse. Why don't you try it next? She's gonna fight Jesse Blue! Ready? All right. And now, back to the Star Sheriffs. there's no such thing. Guns are serious. Now, is there anybody here who thinks they understand gun safety? Well, how about you? Why, certainly I do. Then pick one up. Right. Okay, yeah. No! Oh! Oh! oh what did you do that for? You were pointing that thing straight at your buddies. What's the matter with you, partner? Were you born yesterday? Don't ever, ever point a vapor blaster at anybody, unless it's an evil outrider who needs to be sent back to his own dimension. That's the Star Sheriff's Creed. Oh, come on. What's the big deal? We used to have guns around my house. So you think you're an expert. Boy, are you dumb. But what if a vapor blaster's not loaded? You don't have to worry about it then, do you? Yeah, this one's empty. Here, I'll show you. Oh. Sorry. Sorry isn't good enough when you're dealing with shooting irons. It's not a game, you understand? Mm -hmm. You're right, yeah. Colt. I usually am. Now, when you handle a vapor blaster, always point it down and away. Keep it empty when it's not being used. 
and make sure it's locked up in a safe place. If you're not trained to use a vapor blaster, don't touch one, ever. These puppies aren't toys. They're dangerous, you hear me? No matter how good he gets, a star sheriff always follows safety rules. All right, start the demonstration. Rider. Yes, Commander. There's a ground transport under attack. They're pinned down near Red River Canyon, the whole wagon train. Well, sounds like our cue to rock and roll, eh, Top Sword? Yes, quite. Let's saddle up and do some Star Sheriff trailblazing. Hey, I'm going too. Here on break. I'm going. I'm going. Uh, Just like they say, Bud, don't go away mad. Just go away. Your time's running thin. Talk's cheap. Talking's done. I'll save you. <laughs> Saber Rider! Ah. Saber Rider beat me to it. <laughs> I think you've got a talent for timing, Saber. Thanks, April. Do you want to take it from here? Definitely. Jesse, stay back. This guy's dangerous. I don't want you to get hurt. <sighs> what does she think I am, a little boy? <laughs> Why is he so upset? Cause he's sick. Love sick. He's got eyes for you, April. Sailor, 
Star Sheriffs will be back after these messages. And now, back to Sable Rider. Cadets, Cavalry Commanders, friends. We are here tonight to celebrate with our guests. Sable Rider and the Star Sheriffs. Come up and join me. I am presenting you with these stars, which are symbols of the frontier spirit. A spirit of generosity, courage, and hope. It's nice to be with real friends. Quite right, April. When all is said and done, true friendship is what it's all about out here on our new frontier. <laughs> <laughs> 